Hey everybody, Justin Perry here with another video review, this time of the Skylar Quintel New American Standard Version in Blue Goatskin. Now this Bible made quite a splash whenever it was released a year or two ago uh, because of some pretty remarkable features that we're going to take a look at. So first of all, you'll notice that it is a very thick Bible. It's uh, I don't know the measurements, but I think between one and a half and two inches thick, maybe closer to two. Just to give you a comparison, here is the R.L. Allen New King James Version. It's a large print thin line. This Bible is at least twice as thick. Uh, so we're talking about a very thick Bible. Uh, the reason that it's thick is because of the remarkable paper that this Bible was printed on. It's a 45 GSM paper by Youngblood in Holland, which means that it's very thick and it is opaque, as you can see. It's actually a really nice paper. It's got some real uh, body whenever you feel it. So I really love the paper. It's a sacrifice to having thick paper as you end up with a thick Bible. But the reading experience is excellent, as I'll talk about in just a moment. So you can see it's blue goat skin, uh, and it's the goat skin that is fairly common from Sky from uh, Young Blood that I've seen. It is stitched all the way around the perimeter. It's got this silver gilt line, and it is leather lined on the inside, which means it's definitely a flexible cover. It's not floppy, but it is pretty flexible, um, although. It's not so soft or flexible that it just flops open into your hand, which is probably good considering it's a very thick and very heavy Bible. On the spine there, you can see the Schuyler logo, Holy Bible, and New American Standard. Uh, the grain is a pretty consistent, uh, almost pebble grain. You don't have the deep ridges that you see in other Bibles, such as this Allen New King James. Um, whenever we open it up here, you'll see that it is a two-column reference Bible. The references are down in the lower right-hand corner. Uh, and you'll also notice that it has very large print. It's a beautiful print, very well done, and it's line matched. The lines on this page match with the line on the page behind. So you can see there's very little bleed through in the actual text because the text on the front side matches the text on the back side. It's a two column Bible, which some people don't prefer for reading. Personally, I really like a single column for reading, but since the font is so big and since it's so clear, I actually really enjoy reading from this Bible, uh, even though it's double column. You see the blue under gold, or I'm sorry, blue under silver art gilt edges. And this is just really cool. This is an expensive process. You, any Bible that's got the art gilt like this is always going to cost a lot because the blue is actually put on by hand. Uh, so it's a, it's a difficult process. You also see we've got four ribbons here. You've got two blue and to white, they're kind of a silvery white, and uh, just looks really great. The reason the Bible made such a splash is because it was really made for the preferences of the high quality Bible community. Very thick paper from young blood, line matched, large print. The references are at the bottom of the page rather than in the middle of the column, which can sometimes clutter the text. Um, and it was designed by 2K in Denmark, which is a design firm that they've actually written online. You can find blog posts where they described the process of going through and designing this Bible. I like reading stuff like that myself, and you can see a lot of creativity went into the layout. Just a few little things you'll notice. You've got the uh, book titles and the chapter numbers in red. And then also there's a little line 
at the bottom that divides the text from the references. It's also in red, and that's just pretty cool. Uh, the balance in the layout, everything from the spacing of the lines and the letters to the layout of the references at the bottom, all of this was very intentionally done uh, for just really excellent aesthetics, which is the main thing that you get in this Bible. The only downside is it's very big, it's very heavy, um, it's very thick, so it's not a Bible you'd want to carry with you everywhere, but it is a Bible that if you just want to leave on your desk a really nice reading Bible, then this is the one. It's a beautiful Bible, very well made, awesome leather, very thick leather, and uh, all around a great Bible. If you want a reading Bible that you're not planning to carry everywhere with you, I think it would have been nice if they would have done it in single column rather than double column. I'm not sure why they chose to go with the double column. But all in all, this is an exceptional Bible. I think it is worthy of the hype around it. And this might be a good choice.